All right, let's talk about the Wheel of Extravagance. Most of us know the wheel exists, but recently someone I know hit the best tile. So I'm like, you know what? Let's go talk about it. So if you guys didn't know, it's in Kasala, 100k spin, pretty straightforward, but once a day. 12 different tiles to hit. Obviously, it's not a 1 in 12 chance each one. They're weighted, but let's look at the rewards and then move on from there. So let's get out of the way the easy ones and we'll work top to bottom, the bottom being the best, obviously. So I don't love how it says here only 60 spins. I assume there was more done behind the, the, the scenes or curtain, whatever you want to call it, but we're going to pretend this is like accurate as can be. <laughs> so there's a 20% chance you get nothing, 19% chance to get 25k, and 90% chance <clears throat> to get 50k. So there's a 58% chance to just lose money every spin. So ideally in your head though, there should be a tile that could potentially make up for that loss. All right. Obviously as well, there's a 15% chance to get one Neo point extra. So knowing there's a 73% chance that like there's going to be nothing of note isn't a great design of a wheel but that's life sometimes let's move forward okay let's look at this tile here 50 percent chance this is the one most people try to get so you can get a nerf mid we all know nerf mids cost 180k there's 19 i believe just trust me on that <clears throat> it's 18. there's a plush here somewhere oh it is 20. Huh. Maybe I don't count the other ones. All right. So I'm not sure how they're weighted because I've hit them all pretty equally. I think it actually is like a one in three chance. Okay. Moving on to there. Secret lab map pieces. And obviously some are worth a lot. So yeah, like I have got the 17K one here before. I have gotten for sure this one. So just... As a side note, I'm personally doing the Iron Man Secret Lab where I'm trying to get all nine pieces through the wheel or random events. No player purchasing. And I'm only missing this header right here. So we'll get that hopefully. And obviously this one's soul crushing, the job coupon, because some are worth, you know, a sad amount. But as that loads... Nerk bids used to cost like 75 80k for a long time, so now that they actually are profit, it's pretty cool. But yes, I have gotten this blue job coupon, I've gotten some of the actually better Bright Veil ones. Obviously, you want Bright Veil, but yeah. <clears throat> so, doing the math one more time. So, if we add up the other percents the 20, the 19, the 19, 15, my voice gives out, and this is 15%. So there's like an 88% chance that it's going to hit one of those. So it's pretty average. Like this is how you get your excitement from this. 50% chance. That's like what? Like a one in seven. So once a week, it does feel pretty exciting. Okay. Right here. Paintbrush. I have seen one person get this paintbrush. You know who you are, Marie. <laughs> Names have not been changed. Should not protect the innocent. Uh, if you guys didn't know, like Marie wouldn't spin the wheel, and then I convinced her, and she got a paintbrush. I should go find that actually. Hold on, hold up, wait a minute. All right, before we go there, I might as well show off this. I don't have a coupon picture because it's pretty uneventful. I know I got a few, but so you hit that tile right there. You you click the reward. That's obviously a Nurk mid. Here's what a secret lab map piece looks there, right there. You hit it, and. This is what it looks like when you hit the paintbrush wheel. She got a plushie. And just so you guys are crystal clear, it's a paintbrush. None of that pet pet trash item. So there's 67. Okay. How many of 67 are worth over a million? The answer is a lot. Okay. How many were five? Bang. So plushies right there at about eight. So yes, you're eligible for all the paintbrushes. Nerf bids, you're not. You're up to level, I think, like 180. But yeah. So let's just see. 
Exactly. So you you are eligible to get the invisible and the lost desert here is the difference. In case you were wondering. All right. The next one there isn't the final surprise, but okay. Obviously, the wheel of a shove against avatar. I'm pretty sure I have it. Let's go check it out. All right, let's check it out. So you can check out your avatars. I'm not avatar collector, but as you can see, we got the monotony, misfortune. And right here is the high roller. We'll save that. All right, let's go back to Neopets to look at it. Only my friends get to see it, though, don't they? <laughs> I mean, it's just this wheel spinning. All right, so the wheel of extravagance background. So at these odds, and by the way, once you get the avatar, when you hit it again, you just lose 100k. Like, grats. I'm almost certain. It would be cool if it gave you a random different avatar. That'd be super cool. So what's the background worth? Spoiler alerts, not a lot. I'm also kind of disheartened that I, you know, resub for premium and like every time I try to do this, I I literally have to wait like 15 seconds, reload the page to do this. Like, hopefully that's doing something to prevent bots from botting, but I doubt it because you just F5, so for 1000 MP. So let's go check it out. Yeah, how do we? Wow, it's pretty small. We're not gonna save that. We'll try on all three pets. Can I wear that dress? Oh, huh, there you go. That's pretty cool. Obviously, if you had an invisible pet, this would obviously look a lot more, you know, exciting. It's a potential. It's pretty. You know by its price, it's very mid. If it's kind of rare, but it's whatever. These two tiles share something. It's plus five of a stat, but it cannot be levels. The plus five is 7%, the plus 10 is three. But if you read this, basically it can exceed 10% of your pet stat. So you can hit the plus 10 tile, but if your pet has 60 strength and it rolls strength, it can only get a plus six. That's how that's how I understand it. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's how it happens. The icon's gonna say it's plus ten to a stat, but yes. So very straightforward. All right, on to number ten, the stamp. I've hit this stamp a few times. Let's just go check it out in the game. Look at YouTube there for a second. Pretty certain I have this immaculate deposit box, but that's the background. That is background. I think it was sub 50k last I checked, but that was months ago. Inflation does weird things, but yeah, we're down to 10k. You know what? Because we're here, I'll put it in my my thing, my stamp collection. All right. View album. I have no stamps. <laughs> All right, moving back. All right. Last but not least, the Holy Grail. The rarity 100 item. Like, this is why you come, like, if you have the avatar and unless you're like super rich, this, this is why you come here. Okay. Let's look at the trash items first. So one to 250K. So there's 97. So I'm pretty sure these are also not weighted. You just like, it just spins the list. So yes, there's uh, the golden doubloon food you can get back here and Nerf mids. So 19 items here, complete trash. This key call is worth more than that, but let's now go one, two, three to one million. Like, oh yeah, in case you wanted to see, this is what the avatar looks like. Obviously a dark background, but it's just meh. Actually, that might that might be the wrong wheel, but once again, nothing that I call home about. Once again, all the food club or the gold doubloon food is here. 
That's just how life is. Rarity 100. Why is it that? I don't know. I do not know. So yeah, any of those would be terrible. But now let's do over a million. Is that, did I do 10? I think I did 10. Yeah, so... <clears throat> Food club, food club. Obviously, you guys know what negs are. And let's check out a few items here. I've never heard of a Z Nana. 23 year old item. Can we find any? No. I want to check out the super rare items a tea leaf with the ladybug on it. And there's one super rare card here, but there are things here that are... What is this? Just some rare items no one's ever thought about or worried about. Maybe if you collected a long time ago. Love the cards, but why you come here? So let's just bump it to 5 million. So a coin worth 35 million. Probably maybe more actually given out to Neopians that publish in these issues, so just gotta get lucky to have one of them. Trying to buy these super rare items is super hard. All right, Neopian times white Weeboo plushie. Same thing, just more exclusive. But you'd be asking, hey, Whitefish, that doesn't look all that special. Well, <laughs> If you're not used to using the Neo Jelly prices, when stuff just cannot be labeled, you got a lot like this. This is the good good right here. This is all the magical stuff here. Like these items are expensive. Some I have no idea the value. Like just trying to find these, these books are so rare I'm pretty sure since they're not like an R99 can restock I'm pretty sure these cannot stock I'm not sure where they cut where they came from but so all these items here this is obviously from a uh, doubloon not worth insane amounts bad thing I just want to see can we find an item that actually has an actual one on the TP like that's how rare they are This guy, I, yeah, these are all items from the actual Rarity Hunter thing. It is crazy to see it. So, this is obviously one of the big ones. Glittering Scorch, I think, is a huge one. Yeah, I think this turns your pet chocolate, or did it used to? I'm not sure. But yeah, Dreamcast has what? 300 mil. Scorch Stone, like this, everyone who has played for multiple years knows and loves Scorch Stones. And this is the one to get. <laughs> Much more powerful than all those non-boring Scorch Stones. Just because we're here. Nope, wrong button. Let's look at it here. Ah, let's go. I'll be back in a second. So here it is, it's a 100 health overheal. Obviously it's not great for like PVE or against like not people, but in PVP, this is one of the best items. I think there's a bracket for like a certain level you can only be and like this, if you wanna be competitive, a 100 overheal, overheal this means like if your pet has 80 health, when you use that, it's getting to 180. Like that, <laughs> no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Oh, so you get to use the item. But yeah, so it's used by two people. I'm guessing they were tired. Yep. Like, yeah, this is how you know this game's broken. They're both retired. But yep, there you go. If you got that, oh, I could have read, I could have read the, the dialogue there, but yeah. Maybe I should. Let's just take a quick peek here because these people should know more than I have. So not updated for literally nine years ugly truth if you can afford the ultimate low league weapon like this 
expect to have some serious fun. All right. Overheal, combat, really big difference. Realistically, greater healing scroll is probably fine. The ultimate healer for smaller pets. Yep. Yeah, well, I don't really trust the eight year old thing, but yes, like this. Collectability wise, it's just, it's an R100. All right, I have no idea why this bench is on here, but I assume it has value. Let's look at a few more. Like, I want to see those, uh, those. This can't be worth that much, can it? It's just rare. That's life. I skipped a view there, but. Let's see. Little Timmy. I want to check these plushies. Because everyone loves plushies. Timmy is very young and inexperienced. He started playing cheat as he thought it would make him look cool. However, he is pretty useless at it, to be honest. <laughs> yep. 20 years ago. Just ultra rare. I've seen these quite often, these, these ones. I'm not sure why. Really? Maybe it's a different... I could never quigiki, quigaki, what I like it was just Q. Lord yeah, there you go. Mermaid Mastermind plushie. Look at this, it's worth apparently worth forty eight million a decade ago. So yeah, if you can hit these that be crazy. This is one of my favorite things here is this uh, Queen Fiora Yusuki doll. Like I think this is the Yusukis of Yusukis. I could be wrong, but I think this is the one you want. Like, if you can get your mitts on this. I mean, the chance that it's owned by a reseller is pretty high. So, September, they've been here. 350 I don't know why it even hides the names. Like, is it, if, if, you any, if you have any knowledge about this, you know who these people are instantly. <laughs> Okay, so once again, let's let's go back to the actual page. So 97, and of the 97, 35. So like a 35% chance, a little less, because some there weren't actually worth that much. But yeah, they hit life, not life, game-altering Neo points. So before we go, we can look at the person who hit that specific tile so let's do that and let's get out of here all right and this is what it looks like the fabled r100 that got the creludor versus neopia creludor what what actually is that the one on the left or one on the right on the map i'm curious it's like because i would love to know about this whole like i think it's this one <clears throat> I meant this one. So yeah, so they had a war, obviously, that left their planet pretty, uh, pretty sad. <laughs> and yes, you can click that to go back to the world map if you didn't know that. But yes, like I, I do know what this item was sold for or traded for. But yes, yeah, so let, let's just say it's like yes, this person now has a lot more neo points than they did before they hit the wheel. And I think it was probably sold to a reseller. I'm not sure who exactly bought it, but obviously this guy has one. But yes, that is the collector's dream. And you know what? Just because we're here, I want to see this guy's trades. You know what? Let's see these trades. Uh, attack P, rare cards, and that looks expensive. And all right, on to the next 20 minutes. All right, have a good day. Just kidding, not finish. I should spin the wheel. <laughs> Is this the time where I hit the R100? Is this it? Nah, it's lose 75K. Look at that face. Mm-hmm.